Hey, busy people. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to look at a nano fish that is super colorful and can be a fun breeding project too. That is the red neon blue eye rainbow fish or Sotomobile luminatus. Uh, it is actually kind of a controversial little fish because a lot of people in the rainbow community say it's not technically a rainbow, but it's still somehow classified in the rainbow. Kind of like a false killer whale is not really a killer whale, but it looks like it. So they classify it as a false something. That might be why it has this name. But drama aside, it's a really cool little nano fish that I think everyone should try keeping at some point if you can get your hands on some. So these little fish are native to New Guinea, Indonesia and live in large schools in areas with dense vegetation. So they're going to really love an aquarium with lots of plants and some floaters in it. The males have a stunning like neon red to reddish orange color and certain areas of their bodies have like a blue tint to them, mostly on their fins. And when they become colored up to, you know, mate or display dominance, it's one of the most beautiful nano fish I've ever seen. The females still have a lot of color. Of course, it's just not going to be as pronounced as the males. So the maximum size for these guys is about an inch to an inch and a half, which makes them a great nano fish if you're into those kinds of things. Smallest tank size you probably want to put these guys in is about a 10 gallon, just because they want to be in a group of six to 10. Now for temperature range, they're going to take a range of 64 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH of 6 to 7.5. Now them being a very active schooling fish, they also run the risk of actually jumping out of your tank so I would suggest a nice tight fitting lid with as little gaps as you can possibly have for them to sneak out of. I actually had one jump out of the little hole for my filter. It's probably a two inch by one inch hole. This guy, I turned the light on, it startled him. He went foof right through the hole. So definitely want to plug up all those holes. I ended up taking saran wrap and just taping some saran wrap to them. They get along well with most similar sized fish, though they can be a little intimidated by fish of slightly smumps of food so they can get out competed for their food if the fish are slightly bigger. Speaking of food, these guys are an omnivore, so they're going to like a good quality flake or small pellet or even a freeze dried or frozen food. Personally, I feed mine the Aquarium Co-op Fry Food and Akari Micro Pellet. If you want to try spawning them, they're definitely a mop spawner or if you have a lot of uh, moss in there, they'll like that and feel at home and they'll lay their eggs for you. They have a short lifespan of only about one to two years course can be shortened by the water conditions they're in and the food quality that they are given. Now these guys are a great little nano fish, nice and easy. Shouldn't really have too many problems with them as far as a random die off is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a 9.5 out of 10 simply because they have a little issue with jumping. As always, thank you so much for all the support on the videos. If you are new here and enjoying the content, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And of course, leave a like below and a comment so that we can have a conversation. Have you kept these guys? Have you not? What were your experiences? Let me know. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.